Hey, hi, this is Doc Mountain and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can actually find the unknown values of the matrices. So, here is a problem to help me demonstrate how you actually determine the values of them, the, the unknown uh, values. Okay, so here we go. They say find the value of x and y if the first matrix x, y, and the second matrix 3, 1, 0, 3. When they are multiplied, they give us 9 and a 6. So then how do we determine the values of this? So since here they have been written like this, they say if these two are multiplied, they have to give us those two answers which are at the end. So what we need to do is we have to multiply the first two matrices. We find the answers and we create equations out of them. And then we resolve for their known values. So you say x, how do we how do we multiply matrices? So it's row by column. Row by column. So we're starting with x by 3, that is x times 3 plus y times 0. We're done with the first column. We move on to the second column. So we say uh, this one is now being x times 1, then plus y times 3. y times 3. And that should equate to 9 and the 6 star. We can execute the operations here. So that we find the answer. So x by 3 that to be 3x. Then 1 by 0 that to be plus 0. Then this, these will mul multiply them, give us the forward. x by 1 that will be x. Then plus y times 3 that to be 3y. This will actually equate to 9 and a 6. So now out of what we have, we can actually create equations for us to be able to determine the values of x and y. So the first equation, since anything added to 0 is not anything added to 0. So what we have is 3x. Then this is the first entry of the first matrix. So we are actually relating the entries according to the positions. So 3x will equal to 9. So I'm going to write this one here as 3x is equal to 9 as the first equation. Then the second equation will be uh, x plus 3y, which is equal to 6. So we can start with the first equation and uh, determine the value of x. Let me write this somewhere here. Let me write this somewhere here. So this now will be 3x, which is equal to 9. You know, when you want to determine the value of x, what you do is you simply multiply on both sides of the equation by the multiplicative inverse of a 3. The simplest way that you normally make use of is to divide both sides by the number, which happens to be the coefficient of the variable. So here we will remain with x, 3 there, 1, 3 there, 1, minus 2 x, x. 3 into 9, that's a 3. So the value of x is actually a 3. What of y? What is its value? So we are picking on the second equation. We say x plus 3y is equal to 6. Now here's the thing. We've already determined the value of x. So what we do is we substitute x with its value. So the value is actually 3. So here I'm going to write 3 plus 3y three is equal to 6. Now listen up and listen good. There's no way we can add 3 to 3y three because these two terms are unlike terms. So what we do is we get rid of the 3 by actually bringing in the additive inverse. So the additive inverse, of course, the 3 is negative 3. What we do on the left side is what we do even on the right side. So 3 minus 3, that's a 0. 
So we are going to run with blue y, which is equal to 6 minus 3. That is a 3. Now, what is the value of what's the value of y? So what we do is we divide both sides by 3. And we're going to have y is equal to 3 into 3, that gives us a 1. So we have actually determined the values of x and y. So for instance, that's how we go about these things. Pretty simple. If you've just been watching and you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please do that. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell. So that anytime I happen to roll out a video, you don't miss out. You get alerts. Thank you so much for watching and stay blessed.